Hello, my name is Virginia Henderson, and I am a nursing theorist. Some background on my life. I was born in 1897 in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I graduated the Army School of Nursing in 1921 and started working as a nurse. I started doing nursing education in 1924, and eventually I got a former master's degree in nursing education. In 1955, I wrote the textbooks of the principle and practice of nursing, which was used to teach many nursing students in nursing for many editions. I started doing nursing research, and through my experience, I started developing my personal theory that became known as the Henderson's model, or also known as need theory. I died in 1996 at a Connecticut hospice that I often used for my research. My writings continue to educate nurses to this day, and my theory continues to be used to direct and evaluate patient care. I am also referred to as the First Lady of Nursing. So, um, my, my theory is called Henderson's Model, or is also known as Need Theory. Um, it is a grand theory. It is very broad in application. It is, it is abstract. It can be applied to any type of patient or situation. It is used as a conceptual framework for evaluating, planning, and directing patient care. All those things making it a type, type grand theory. Now, the theory is that the role of the nurse is to help the patient do things that they would do to care for themselves if they were healthy until they could do until they could do them for themselves again. So I separated up all the basic human needs into 14 separate needs, and I, I will list those needs. Um, it's breathe normally, eat and drink adequately, eliminate body waste, move and maintain desirable postures, sleep and rest. Select suitable clothes, dress, and undress. Maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothing and modifying environment. Keep the body clean and well-groomed and protect the integument. Avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others. Communicate with others in expressing emotions, needs, fears, or opinions. Worship according to one's faith. Work in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment play or participate in various forms of recreation, and lastly, to learn, discover, or satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development and, and health and use the available health facilities. So now I'll talk about the key terms of a theory and, and um, how my, my theory applies those key terms. So the person the individual takes care of themselves and provides for their individual needs if they are physically able to. So my theory sees the person as as independent and as caring for themselves and and um, unless something is problematic with them, unless unless they have a problem, they will care for all their needs. And so health health and illness creates a situation where the individual cannot self provide for certain needs. So they are in need of a nurse to help them. The nurse is the individual who provides for those needs when the individual cannot provide for them themselves. The environment is something that the individual can change in order to help meet their needs. In a time of illness, the nurse is responsible to alter the environment in a way that the individual would have if they had, had been healthy. So a research study that applies my theory, um, it is called Evaluating Patients' Health Using a Hierarchical Multi-Attribute Decision Model. So in the study, they use, my, they use my theory, the Henderson's model, to identify needs in a wide range of patient populations, and then they add an aspect to the theory that prioritizes what needs the patient requires more. So they took my theory, and they and they added a prioritization aspect where the the patient chose what's most important to them. Um, how what they resulted in is they found that the model can effectively identify nurse nursing problems holistically for the patients, help direct and centralize nursing documentation, and the nurses were less likely to overlook something important. So a case study uh, um, from a patient from my personal experience. Um, uh, the patient had 
had end stage liver disease and was on comfort measures only. He was st he was still alert. Um, he he could walk around. Um, he was he was very unsteady on his feet, but he could he was he he was very confused as well. But he was he was alert and he was awake. Um, he had a hepatic encephalopathy, which which kind of um, made him confused. So um, the patient was unable to care for his own needs because of his confusion. Um, so we made sure he drank his food supplements. We moved him around from bed to chair and repositioned him frequently. We administered medications and optimized the environment for sleep and rest. We kept him clean and well-groomed. We used fall precautions, among other precautions, to keep him safe from harm. And we helped him remain social by encouraging family members to visit him. All those things you, you will notice um, meet a certain criteria in my 14 basic needs. We had, what we did was that we identified his needs and then we saw what he couldn't provide for himself and we provided them for him. So, so for my conclusion, my theory is designed to help direct nursing care. It helps nurses see what their patients' needs are and it allows them to evaluate care by assessing what needs are deficits and, and are being cared for. This theory is not great for basing studies upon due to the fact the, the vast amount of data it makes, but it can be tested through studies to identify that it does tangibly make a difference for patients. And these are my references. Thank you very much.